Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here with a big surprise, let me present you my newly purchased uh, house plants. Uh, Amalfa loose. Let me show you the label. Amalfa loose uh, Altreviridis. Actually, Amalfa loose is very often seen as as commercial crops or the in botanic garden and also as house plants and garden plants this one is uh, quite i never see it before in person look uh, this particular variety because look at this pink margin this leather like uh, leaves not leaves these are leaflet this is one leaf all this together is one leaf with divided leaflets it was so so evil and cute at the same time for me look at the back side of the leaf the leaflet And this is the patio. This is not the stem. The stem is uh, underground in the soil. Looks like a tuber. This is a new plant. The, the biggest is one single plant with one single patio and then one big leaf. It's almost in its mature size. It's about uh, 60 cm tall, so it's ideal for tabletop house plants. Thanks for the new trend of uh, Stephania erect cars. So a lot of uh, house plants dealers start to import. Uh, similar plants but this amafafalos has nothing to do with stephonia only because they are on, they purchased a lot i could luckily find one among all the other ugly potato plants they they are different so i have to calm down let's talk about the care tips so uh, this one might be quite rare not commercially rare, but uh, you know you don't see it every day in house plant center. And but he has very famous cousins. Other varieties of the Amorphophallus family. The huge one, the giant one, we all know that is also called the corpse flower or the, na the real name is Amorphophallus titanium, the huge one. When it flowers, everybody in the family has to go in the night to the botanic garden to have a look, if you remember that. has a very strong, <coughs> uh, unpleasant smell when it flowers. And another famous cousin is actually a material for a famous food, especially in Asia. The Amalfafalus cognac with the green leaves. You, you see everywhere, not everywhere, very, very often in garden and in, as house plants. And it's the material of uh, shirataki. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English on this. It's like, uh, in Asia, it's like devil's potato, uh, dangerous potato. <laughs> Or the in Japanese, when it was processed and cooked to make a snack, is called shirataki. It's a good side dish when you do hot pot and everything. So I learned the care tips, basically how to grow uh, Amalfafalus uh, cognac as a commercial cup from the farmers from the you know big range their life depending on this so it's quite helpful for us to grow um, similar plants at home
First about the name, I keep saying the Latin name because not because I want to pretend to be a sophisticated person, it's because <laughs> I'm a fool. It's this shaped in English and the phallus. Just Google it. I cannot see it. If I still want to publish it, this video, so that's why. And uh, let's talk of circle. This one I have when I bought it is in the leaf circle. When you plant the corn, I cannot fish it, fish it out from the soil, but it's like an ugly potato. When you plant it, there are two possibilities that first a leaf bud merge from this potato, second a flower bud emerge this from this. So there will be two circles. Let's talk about the leaf circle. Then it emerge from the ground. Look the here I have several young plants, one, two, three, four. I guess nobody ever dig this out in the nursery, so they just uh, keep doing offshoots. This is a newest one. The young leaf look like this, dark green, and you can see through some shade of pink. This is the youngest leaf from from this pot, and then they will keep go growing, maturing with this special patio. It will grow out. This special patio is the patterns, very fragile. Looks very fragile and juicy, and then they grow one leaf in their lifetime. Only one leaf. When it continue to mature, it will split up into look so many uh, divided leaflets. So if you have a cognac growing garden, it might look even like a small tree, <laughs> but it is only one patio with one leaf. Very special. So and for this particular variety, 60 cm is like uh, finish, and for the for the giant ones could be top to the ceiling in a botanic garden, and then after one year or the one and a half year, or if you plant in outside by winter, the leaf will getting yellow, aged, then drop off. Then the corn will go back to the domain, and next spring, or oh, when it's happy, you never know it will grow back again. So if it grow a flower bud, there will not be any leaf anymore. After several years of uh, leaf circles, when it has enough enough energy. It will grow a flower, but then this circle will only be one flower. And when it opens in blossom, like one, two, three days maximum, and it will die off with pollination, which is very difficult for a private grower. It will grow fruits with one or two seeds, then die off and go back to the domain. So for myself personally, I hope I keep the leaf. I keep have the leaf circle. And so, um, so on care tips at home. It looks like a riverside, waterside plants, but it's not. Please don't let it uh, soak in water or water it every three days. It will, the root will rot, the whole, the whole plant will have black and rot. Uh, it will, it's not forgiving. It will not come back anymore. So I have this guy under a big West facing window under it, not direct on the window seat. So the light is kind of from above that it, this uh, whole plants don't shrink to leaning to the other side, to the side. And uh, don't need very strong light. 
In nature, if we plant them outside, it's the best to plant on the hilly side and the other trees in the woods. So it only want filtered light. So for us in the house, is near the window is enough. Please don't put it direct under the midday sunlight. For example, on the south facing window is too much. And it like moist, but it does not like swimming pool situation. So I I only give uh, this guy water when I lift the pot. I feel hollow inside, and you can see the top top soil is obviously dry. Then I give water, give enough water. It will be seven to ten days. It depends. Uh, if you put your finger into the soil, it's already uh, wet on the middle of the pot or something. Don't please don't give water. Don't draw it. He he will not come back anymore. So light and water and about the uh, fertilizer, the grow grower already throwed a bunch of long slow release the fertilizer in it so i will not do anything anyway after this circle this guy goes back to domain and we start again it's not a heavy eater on fertilizer and actually he is not very picky about potting mix uh, in the farm when they grow um, amalfalos cognac it's actually i see the farmers literally grow them in the mud in the clay soil uh, it does not really harm them a lot but flood too much rain will kill them this is it. and too much direct sunlight will burn them and uh, another thing is i mentioned many times about the cognac is a material for food but please never eat it raw it needs to be processed and cooked around two hours by the professional <laughs> manufacturer so don't let the uh, house tea don't let their pet or any creature to bite on the corns it's slightly poisonous so I think it's pretty much about the cat tips. Easy. It looks very weird and special, but actually he was a grower friendly house plants. You might already see his cousins in uh, people's gardens all over the world. It really looks like a tree. I don't know how much he will stay in this circle in inside of our house, but I'm very looking forward. Look at the pink margin. Oh my god. I can never have enough of it. I'm sorry I keep filming on this pink. And of course, please don't forget to de dust it. De dust, water dry, then water. Not a heavy eater on fertilizer and. Uh, filtered light medium light is enough and thanks for watching and i'm very happy to have her with me at home and see you next time we i forget about the propagation uh, it will grow offshoots from the underground during the growing season so after the domain Next time, be, next season, before you plant them back to the earth, you can divide these offshoots, one year old corn, and grow new plants as propagation. Thanks a lot.